Hello and welcome to another Revit and SketchUp tutorial and in this video we are going to look at how you can import this SketchUp model into a BIM software like Revit. Now usually sometimes when you import a model into Revit you can't really interact with it that much and it's not very useful when you do that and this is due to a BIM exchange problem that SketchUp and Revit have so there's a right way to actually import this model and in this video I'm going to show you how to do that. But first I'm going to import it the normal way to show you why there is a limitation and after that we're going to do it the other way and show you how you can actually make use of this model to some extent as a BIM reference model in Revit. So we're going to head over to Autodesk Revit now and this is Autodesk Revit 2035 but it should work in other models of Revit as well. So you're going to head over to insert and what you want to do is to link card and when you head over to link card is to find the SKP file that is the SketchUp model and over SKP look for where you actually went on to save it. Mine I think is in the downloads folder. I can find downloads here and then under downloads folder we're going to find the 2019-1017 model and just leave everything as it is internal origin to origin that is the positioning of the model and just go ahead and click open Revit will take the SKP file and import it into the Revit software so we've gotten an error that says the imported geometry contains non-uniform scaling transformations which Revit does not support so some of those items might be displaced or distorted. This is normal because the BIM exchange format is different from SketchUp into Revit so you can see the model in here if we zoom in it's just one item that you can't really do much with it you can't really check the walls or check the windows or check all those other models but we are currently on the level one floor plan so if you switch to 3d you can see the full model here in revit but the issue with this model is you can't really interact with it that much you can't touch the walls you can't touch the windows and even this chimney thing up here you can't really touch it so this is the first issue that we have when you're importing a bim model or a sketchup model into a bim tool like Revit you're going to have this issue that you can't really touch anything so the second way I found to actually import this model that can give us some access to the model even though it's not a complete access but it's much better than this so I'm going to show you how to do that so what you want to do is to head over to SketchUp and then go over to file and then say export and export it as a 3d model and there are different ways you can actually choose to do this I prefer to use the DWG file I'm still going on to test out other formats like IFC and FBX but if you want a video about showing how IFC responds do let me know in the comment section but in this video we're going to use the Autodesk DWG file to actually export this as a 3D model so if we head over to export go ahead and click export SketchUp is going to analyze the file and export all the entities inside the file as a complete 3D model that you can take into another Autodesk software Now we can see that the dwg slash dxf export file is complete you can go ahead and click ok now we're going to head over to revit now in autodesk revit i'm going to have to delete this file now i'll just go ahead first of all select it and then delete the layers if you just press delete it's not going to work like that so just go ahead and click delete layers and then check all the layers and go ahead and click ok the model should be gone now and then I can switch back to level one. Once you're in Revit, you want to create a new family. So you head over to file and then head over to new and then say create a family of custom components. I like to use the generic model because it's just empty and then just click open. Now that the generic model is open, we can now import our 3D SketchUp model into this family space. Go ahead and click import card from the import ribbon over here and then you can find the house 2019-1017. Remember that we're looking for the DWG version of this file because that's the one that we exported. So just switch this to DWG and if you don't see the file here, remember to search for wherever it is that you actually saved it. I think mine is set to documents. So you can see 2019 Mabel House 1017. Make sure that your center is set to origin to origin internal positioning. And then every other thing is the same level. And then go ahead and click open. Give Revit a few more seconds to import it. And then here we go. So we have the 
model imported into Revit now from SketchUp and you can see all the structural elements or building elements inside the model. Now one more step that is important is just go ahead and select that model that you just imported and over in the import instance you can see explode. Now there are two versions of explode. You can do a full explode and get everything piece by piece scattered inside Revit and every element in the model is going to have its own singular selection so the wall is going to be divided into a cube of maybe six sides but i prefer the partial explode because it's going to divide each element into or it's going to divide the model into elements so walls are going to be walls and windows are going to be windows and and so on and so forth so i'm going to just use a partial explode and as you can see you can have access to the walls now and this is probably the roof and then you can see even this element here each of them exists as a single element inside the model so that's the preferred method that i like to use so once you're done with that go ahead and say load project or load into the project and close and if i want to save this to the family one because i'm not really using the family after now i'm just going to say no and now we have our model inside revit you can go ahead and just choose where you want the model to drop i can pick anywhere close to the origin here and click paste or drop and maybe you can paste more of it if you want but just press escape to let go and escape again okay escape twice to let go and you can see your model inside Revit now now that we have it imported you notice that you may not be able to access each individual element while you're in the Revit modeling phase but if you go ahead and double click the family you go back into the family mode and then you'll be able to touch each and every individual element in the Revit model that you've imported from SketchUp. This is one of the limitations of BIM exchange with SketchUp and Revit, but as long as it gets better in the future, we'll probably have a better exchange between the two and then you can work with both SketchUp model inside Revit in a way that is easy for you to actually interact with the elements. So I'm going to go ahead and load this back into the project now and close. Now remember, I don't have to save that. And in here, you can actually use this as a reference to your building. So in case you want to recreate the SketchUp model inside Revit, you can actually use this import feature as a reference and then go ahead and recreate your model. If you found this video useful, do let me know in the comment section. Or if you have any additional questions about how to import SketchUp model into Revit, do let me know in the comment section. And for more Revit and SketchUp tutorials like this, remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications bell so you can get notified when more videos like this do come out. I'll see you in the next video.